In this video, we will explain how to perform a quick test of the IPM electronic module, which is used in inverter air conditioner boards to supply current to the compressor. Let's quickly go over some steps to follow. 1. Disconnect the equipment from the power supply. Remember that capacitors can store current. Use a multimeter on the DC voltage scale to measure across the capacitors and ensure they are discharged. 2. Locate the IPM electronic circuit. The IPM electronic circuit is covered by heat dissipating fins. Its pins are connected via three independent tracks and an electrical connector to the three compressor pins. 3. Positive Power Supply Identify the high voltage positive power supply of the IPM electronic circuit by tracing the positive track from the largest high voltage capacitors to the IPM electronic circuit. 4. Negative Power Supply Identify the negative track from the capacitors to the IPM electronic circuit by tracing the negative track from the largest high voltage capacitors to the IPM electronic circuit. 5. Identify the output points UVW. These can be identified by following the tracks from the compressor connectors to the IPM electronic circuit. 6. Set the multimeter to the diode scale. 7. The IPM electronic circuit is internally composed of six IGBT transistors, each containing a diode, that we will test. Let's start with the integrity test of the first three diodes. A. Place the black probe of the multimeter on the positive input of the IPM electronic circuit. B. Use the red probe to measure the point U V W. C. The minimum voltage activation values should be around 0.45 volts for each measurement. D. The measurement obtained between the negative supply and each pin, U, V, W, should yield practically the same reading. Let's proceed with the integrity test of the last three diodes. A. Place the red probe of the multimeter on the negative input of the IPM electronic circuit. B. Use the black probe to measure the point U V W. C. The minimum voltage activation values should be similar to those obtained previously. D. The measurement obtained between the negative supply and each pin U V W should yield practically the same reading. If everything seems fine with the IPM electronic circuit, you can perform the following test. A. Connect the electronic board to the power supply, taking the necessary precautions. B. Set the multimeter to the DC voltage scale at 400 volts. C. Place the red probe of the multimeter on the positive power supply of the IPM electronic circuit. D. Place the black probe of the multimeter on the negative power supply of the IPM electronic circuit. E. The power supply value will depend on your electronic board's power supply, expecting values around 150 volts for a 110 volt supply and approximately 300 volts for a 220 volt supply. F. If no power appears, the issue with the external electronic board lies in the power supply and not directly in the IPM electronic circuit. 